Hello everyone and thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Uniquely Tay. In today's video, we'll be doing a hot cocoa bar. Um, pretty much I'm going to be showing you what I've used, my different style tips, and some of my DIYs. If you're new here, I am Tay of Uniquely Tay. I do DIYs, home decor videos, shopping videos, tablescapes, and much more. If you like videos like these, you're in the right place to be. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. So let's just hop right on into it. All right, y'all, this is a complete overview of my hot chocolate bar. Um, I've been working on it off and on for the last two days and everything is pretty much a diy this here is a diy my bakery um fresh containers a diy my actual coffee bar stand itself is a diy so i'm going to show you some of the items that i have this year at Dollar Tree, they have the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Snack Mix. Now, this is a new buy. I thought this was very, very cute. I've never seen it before at my local Dollar Tree, but it has peanut butter, filled shaped chocolates, um, Frosted Snowman chocolates, Rudolph, and Santa Claus. And you got pretzel sticks and um, peanuts. I should have got three of those, but I only got two. So, I have two of those. I also have some... Candy canes, these are the cherry kind because my husband does not like the peppermint kind. And these are also new at Dollar Tree. Let's see. Make sure I can focus it in. There it go. These hot chocolate bombs. When I saw these, I initially saw them on Instagram. I think it was Dollar Tree Dolly that had them on her Instagram. When I first saw these, I had to get them. So I went to a Dollar Tree in my area and they had them. Pretty much it works just like your basic um, hot chocolate bombs. You drop it in a glass of milk and it comes with marshmallows on the inside. Um, like I said earlier, it's new to Dollar Tree. This will be my first year trying it. So I got about five of those. Hopefully I'm going to be able to get some more soon. I'm going to try to go back and get more to last throughout the rest of the season. I also have some chocolate spoons get one that you can see a little bit more clear let's see there we go i have some chocolate spoons right here i got two in the bag those came from dollar tree also and my infamous gingerbread cookies there are the these are the little De debbie brand of gingerbread cookies and they're very good I have two rows of those. And of course, I have my marshmallows here. My sign says Cuddles Cocoa Cookies. Um, complete DIY of mine. And I have my DIY bakery box right here that I did with my Cricut. It's kind of hard to see what it says, but it says Daily Fresh Bakery. I've never tried these snacks right here before. These are Elf on the Shelf snack cakes. They are holiday style cakes. This is the vanilla one, and they're really good. These came from Walmart, and pretty much you can put these in your kids' lunch boxes or just use it for like a festive time during this time of the year. You can put little messages, especially if you're a parent that does the Elf on the Shelf. And they they pretty much taste pretty good. They had chocolate also. I didn't get the, oh, excuse me, y'all, I moved you a little bit. I didn't get the chocolate kind because there's so many people in my house that don't really, well, we eat chocolate, but not that much. So I did vanilla instead. So I'm going to sit that back over here. All right. And I know y'all trying to figure out where my little lighting is coming from. I have a tap light that I put under there to give like a special effect. And that tap light also came from Dollar Tree. And pretty much, this is what my coffee bar I'll be looking at, looking like for this upcoming holiday season. I'm going to just be like um, refilling it with different snacks that they have throughout the holiday season. My go-tos are always the gingerbread, um, mean by Little Debbie. And I'm going to try to stick with the Elf on the Shelf. I don't know how long they're going to have them, but I'm going to try to stick with those. But I'm going to pull all of you closer in so you can see 
how I got oop, I didn't mean to pull that back. How I got um everything set up. There we go. Looks real good. And right here to the bottom, this right here came from Dollar General. It says old fashioned candies. And this is the area where I got all of my candy canes in. Right there. I love how everything came out. I'm so excited about this upcoming holiday season. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Like I said earlier, do not forget to hit that notification bell so you will always know when I upload my latest video. And always create and explore and enjoy. And I'll catch you guys in my next video.